What is up everybody and welcome back. Today's just another server update to let you guys know the status. Like I said, I'm going to try to get daily videos up so that I can keep you guys that are interested in joining posted. Um, nothing's changed really much since the last video. Um, I thought today I'd go a little more in depth and show you guys a little bit more of the mining map that I was talking about in the previous video. I was actually able to hunt down the pyramid, which was right by me. Go, go figure. But this is one of the custom dungeons on the map. If you get up here to the top, it should have a chest with some items in it. Whoops, I must have my compass. As you can see, there's some items here in the chest. And if we drop down in here, I know there's another chest in here. I did a little bit of ex exploration before the video. Um, we got another chest here with some items in it. As you can see, this one has some enchanted items. It's just a leather cap with blast protection one. Um, I thought I'd show you guys a little bit more of another custom dungeon, the ones that are marked by the obsidian. As, as you can see, we have another dungeon out there with the tower. <clears throat> um, if I'm right, there should be another chest up here on the surface like at the other one with the obsidian towers from yesterday's video. And this one has a an enchanted bow with power one on it, as well as a little bit of food and some leather items. We'll just drop straight down in here. Like I said, some of these items are harder to get in-game like black wool for instance and gray wool as you can see you can mine this up uh, the mining map you can get here and tear it up as bad as you want I plan on regenerating the map weekly or every two weeks depending on the amount of players as you can see there's like custom rooms and then there's another level to this dungeon that has a mob spawner right at the bottom of the stairs which is pretty nasty some more wool that you could gather up um, I believe as you get through here a little bit more too there's uh, more levels to the dungeon. As you can see, there's like some floating lava and stuff right there. Um, I'm not sure where to go. I get kind of lost on in these dungeons. I'm sure anybody who's played Minecraft with me and viewing knows and uh, can attest to the fact that I tend to get lost. Um, we'll real quick go back to the spawn and I'll show you guys what updates we've done to the map here as of today. Let me change my game mode real quick. As you can see, we haven't got too much done today. We actually added these roads in so that the map would have a little bit more pop to it. And it's a pretty nice feature to have the glowstone there. It looks real good at night. Uh, speaking of which, I'll probably set it to time night real quick here. So that you guys can see what I mean. Now, it really makes the roads pop. We do plan on putting in some, I guess they're called lamps type deals there. Um, as you can see, we've moved the fountain over. The fountain now is the centerpiece of the map. I've also went and moved the church from that area over there to this area over here. It just fits better in this area as well as I moved it a little back, a little bit back more off the road so that things lined up a little more properly. Um, I guess the next thing I can show you guys real quick is the Hunger Games world that I added today. Whoops mistyped it as you can see here this is the Hunger Games that I was talking about that we'll be hosting um, I did not put this map together this map was pre-made by somebody else and I downloaded the map and just uploaded it onto my server I do plan on making my own custom maps but until we have the time and the server's been up and running for a while and established I decided I would just take somebody else's map I mean if you're interested I can um, link you to the download so that you could get this map yourself but as you can see it's like a ruined city there are some Easter eggs spread out and about um, let me real quick get out of F1 mode so we can get inside this building and I can show you guys <coughs> pardon that but anyways as you can see you start down there in the little glass blocks the host would then hit this button whoops which would then raise the pads up down there so that you guys would be able to get out of the glass. Um, I do believe that down in here inside these leaves there are chests hidden underneath. And there is uh, random chests spread out throughout the map. As well as there's, like I said, some Easter eggs, um, some hidden doors, as well as some TNT traps, which one of my admins triggered earlier, so I'll have to regenerate the map. 
but that wraps, about wraps the video up for today. Just wanted to show you guys a little bit more and let you guys know what we've been up to, keep you guys up to date. Like I said, I still plan on having the server up by Thursday if all goes well. If uh, there's any hitches in the deal, then uh, Friday at the latest. But if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave it a like. Like I said, that's all I got. This has been Too Cold, and I'm out. Peace.